Hey guys, Melvin here. Welcome back for another edition of the Daily Shave. Today we're going with Holy Cow. Sanderhurst. Absolutely incredible company and soap. Um, considered by many to be some of the best soaps on the market. Um, so again, we're going with uh, Holy Cow, Sanderhurst. The Rex Ambassador Razor, the matching aftershave, and for the brush today, we are going to be using a low born uh, 30 millimeter brush. I kind of think he stopped making brushes, I'm not too sure. Um, so the notes on Sandalhurst is ginger, tobacco, plum, clove, tonka bean, cedarwood, vetiver, benzoin, and vanilla. To my nose, I, I get the tobacco right away. Top, top set note for me in my nose would be tobacco and I get the tonka bean. I get hints of vanilla. It smells great. So let's uh let's get loaded. I don't really have uh much facial hair today but um I'm gonna keep the Rex on I'm gonna keep the Rex on uh two and uh, we're going to be going with the Gillette Platinum Blade. Um, I've experimented quite a bit now with this uh, with this razor. It's a two-piece adjustable razor. Put the blade on as such. Just give it a little squeeze. Put it in there. Turn it down so it's nice and tight and pick the number you want and you're ready to go um i noticed that this razor aligns perfectly every time this is a real quickly it's quickly jumping to one of my favorite razors uh, just a very smooth and efficient shave okay so let's get loaded here i squeezed out a lot of the water from the brush 30 millimeters brushes tend to hold a lot of soap this is a, a low born custom brush again and the knot is a 30 millimeter the golden nib grade A knot if my memory serves me correctly this lathering it up uh, lathering up the soap the scent is going right up my nose and very uh, tobacco-y like a sweet tobacco almost like a great really really good cigar um, pretty intoxicating scent if you ask me uh, That should actually be more than enough soap. It never hurts to overload your brush. Put a little water on the face. Scoop out the excess lather from the tub. ready to start making up a nice level holy cow is a tallow soap but he um shiri the guy that runs uh holy cow 
He's he's a great guy. I mean, he's he's one of the nicest artisans in the business. I've hung out with him on several occasions. He switches formulas from time to time, but make no mistake, his all his soaps, whether vegan or tallow based, they're all incredible. Um, he has one of the best post shaves in the business. I mean. Of course, you want to put on an aftershave because, you know, you like the scent. But to be quite honest, you really, really, really don't need it. His soaps are that good. Leave your skin feeling great every single time. Now that I'm lathering, I'm definitely getting the cedar wood. It's coming out. Oh, this soap is so rich. And no wonder why this is many, many, many people's top soap. And I mean, you could you could really, really go crazy with this and put in as much water as you want. I think it would be very difficult to break down this soap. One of the best, um, t uh, honestly, one of the best soaps in the business. This is so thick and so rich, it's really, really incredible. Look at that. Amazing. Great soap, great scent from a great guy, and that really, really knows his stuff. And you ask anybody about Holy Cow, and they'll tell you the same thing. I'm sure there's hundreds of videos and hundreds of guys that'll tell you that the Holy Cow just makes phenomenal soaps. Makes soaps. Aftershaves, balms, skincare products, or anti aging serums, you name it. Okay, here we go. First pass with the grain. Oh, yeah. There's probably, honestly, nothing I can say about this soap that hasn't been said. I mean, um, to say that Holy Cow soaps are top tier soaps uh, is an understatement. Great, great, great scent. Absolutely incredible. Oh, the residual sickness on this.
you could probably shave just with the residual slickness alone and have no problems. Definitely allows that blade to slide off your face quite easily, for sure. Pass number one is great. Again, so, I mean... Makes great soaps. I would think they would actually be perfect for somebody that has sensitive skin. Because he uses some of the best, he uses some of the best ingredients in the business. And, um, really takes pride in his craft. And making soaps. All right, here we go. Pass number two. As I stated in the beginning of the video, I had the pleasure of hanging out with Sheree on a couple of occasions. Very, very nice guy, man. One of the nicest, one of the absolutely nicest men you'll ever meet in your life. And he's so approachable and, you know, so easy to talk to and always willing to help and, you know, share knowledge of his wet shaving um, expertise. Just, just, again, one of the very best people you'll meet in the wet shaving hobby. And um, I'm very fortunate that he lives uh, close by me and I'm able to to enjoy his company um, from time to time. Um, and I'm definitely happy to, uh, to support uh, artists and like him. Um, Just a top-notch person that makes an incredible product. So you got the best of both worlds. You're supporting an artisan that's that makes one of the best soaps in the business, and he's a good people. So it's a win-win situation. All his products you can find on on his website and also West Coast Shaving carries a, a, a wide variety of his products. Um, his products are a little bit, a little bit more expensive than other artisans. Um, his soaps, I believe his soaps are $23, but you're, you're getting an absolutely incredible, incredible product, four ounces, but you're getting a product that has ingredients that are some of the best in the business. His post shave feel on his soaps are outstanding.
You know what? I'm going to leave it at two passes today because I didn't have a lot of facial hair to begin with. And I'm comfortable with that. You know, ladies and gentlemen, you don't always have to shoot for BBS either. You know? Um, that razor is great. The razor is another item that can be found in West Coast Shaving. I, I believe, don't quote me on anything, please, because, uh, you know, prices are subject to change. You know, I, I am, I don't make the prices at West Coast Shaving. I'm just one of their daily shavers. Um, but I believe the razor is around $250. But you're getting a razor that will last you for decades. For absolute decades, honestly. I'm going to put a little bit of, um, I'm going to put a little bit of witch hazel. Today I've been getting into the habit of putting witch hazel on my face. This is the um, cucumber. Witch Hazel. And a couple of, couple of little weep in there. Nothing, uh, nothing crazy. Part of the gig. Okay, so we're gonna finish this off with the matching splash. As I said to you guys time and time again, no matter what aftershave it is, always, always give it a good shake. Um, whatever essential oils and witch hazels and other properties are in the uh, aftershave, you always should give it a good shake because the settlements fall to the bottom and it's always good to mix it up, you know? Mm. I'm getting um, getting a slight menthol. Very, very slight. Definitely menthol. Um, nice scent. Goes with the uh, the soap fairly well. Mm. I wouldn't say it's exact, but a lighter variation of the soap. Um, I would have to say that the soap is stronger than the aftershave. Usually, most of the time, the aftershave tends to be stronger than the soap, but um, it's nice. Very nice scent, not overpowering, uh, good, I'm happy with it. So here we go, to recap, Holy Cow, Sandhurst, the matching aftershave, the Rex Ambassador, with a Gillette Platinum Blade, I can't recommend, I got Couple of weepers here. Couple is not even a word, huh? So I wanted to stop at two because I don't want to irritate my face. Can't recommend this razor enough. I went with a low born 30 millimeter custom brush. I think he called it the King's Knight or something. And uh, the soap. Any any offering. This video may be about. This video may be about Sandhurst, but to be quite honest with you, any soap from the Holy Cow is top notch. Whether you go with his vegan formula or you go with his tallow formula, his 
soaps are absolutely positively incredible. Um, his post shave, there might be, there might be four, maybe five guys in the entire wet shaving world that has a post shave feel like the Holy Cow. And I know that's, that's my opinion. And I'm pretty sure there's a lot of guys out there that would agree with me. Holy Cow makes some of the best suds in the business. You cannot go wrong with any of his offerings. Um, I hope this video helped you, got, helped you guys out and was informative. Um, thank you for tuning in. And uh, you can check out these products at West Coast Shaving. And uh, talk to you guys later. Thank you very much. Bye-bye now.